And of course, it's a busy day for the Roanoke Rescue Mission. Thousands lined up this morning in downtown Roanoke for the 12th annual drumstick dash. It's become a tradition for many families before they sit down for their Thanksgiving meal. They run to help support the Roanoke Rescue Mission. But for one local woman, helping feed the homeless wasn't her only goal today. Just looking at the starting line, you can tell many take running the dash very seriously. The second they hear go, they're off, hoping for the best time yet. But somewhere in this crowd of thousands is Diane Schweizer. She isn't toward the front. In fact, she isn't even running. But for Diane, being here today with her shoes laced up, tackling 3.1 miles is a major feat. I've never been able to walk that far because of the pain in my foot. So I had said last year, I said, I'm doing it next year. I'm doing it. A year ago, Diane and her doctors decided amputation was the best option. And soon after, she started planning for today, the day she would walk a 5K. A year ago, I couldn't have walked around the block. Today, she's hitting the pavement, one foot in front of the other. But she's not doing it alone. By her side are family members and her physical therapist, Chris Osborne. So crossing the finish line with her squad is certainly something to cheer about. Now you got your three million. There are points today I didn't think I was going to make it. Um, but at least a lot of people have a lot of faith in me. And Diane's turning their faith into hope for others who are like her. And I'm doing this for all the people. You know, we see the commercials, we see the billboards, we see young, healthy, Marines who have had a leg replaced. We see young kids. Yes, they can do it, but here I am, later stages of life. I um, haven't been in shape, and I can do it. Walking is something many may take for granted, but today, along with her family, that's what Diane is thankful for.